But that's there's nothing you can do about it. All right. One, 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 two. Oh my God. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolve on the Jurassic World server. What is going on, Elines? Elines? I think that's how I say it. This is, there's, like I said, there's a few people on the server all helping me construct Jurassic World or just our own Ark version of Jurassic World. So, this is one of the helpful builders. Dreadlocks is around here somewhere. Does that everyone know where Terry Flaps is from? If you don't know where Terry Flaps is from, you need to search that up on YouTube immediately. Seriously, pause the video and go listen to some amazing music. <laughs> Grab my Terry Flaps. It'll blow your mind. All right, so today we're messing around with the Omega 09 Rex right here. The incredible boss hybrid from Jurassic World the game. And here it is in its cage. This is, I don't know, I feel pretty in love with this cage. I mean, we put a good amount of work into it. It's quite awesome. As you can see, he is walking on glass platforms right there. It's because, like, the, the land was slightly tilted and, and the electric fences and everything. It would have been slightly off, like, a few centimeters. Whereas this way, it's one giant perfect cage. So right now I need to build me a little just goat farm, not goat farm, the goats, actually I'm not sure, the goats seem to have a little issue with going through this thing here, I don't know, I think the server was kind of bugging out yesterday though when I was trying to do it, so that's what that issue was for the most part. There shouldn't be an issue, but as you see right here in front of you is the hatch frame for the feeder, because obviously the Omega 9 Rex has to be fed, or it'll starve, that's how food goes. Make sure to leave a like, by the way, if you guys want to see more of these Jurassic structures. You guys have been liking the shiz out of the video, so I've been keeping them going. Because, like, obviously I love doing this, but I'm not going to post it if you guys don't want to see it. <laughs> Alright, so here he is in his cage down there. Now, here's the general vibe we're going for right now. Obviously, here's the hatch frame feeder, and that's going to be a very exciting, awesome thing. I can't wait to do that in a second. But, um, we need to build a little cage for him, too, for our sheep, for our ovis, so they could infinitely supply. And then down here, we're thinking it's going to break off into some short of Jurassic Arena, you know, where creatures can fight and generally take out their issues with each other, slap each other silly, like it'll just be a gate that opens there. We need to put that on a keypad, actually, for shizzle. I wonder if the other keypad upstairs could reach it. And then it's going to go down out here to just some sort of, I guess we don't even have that much room. Yeah, we have enough room easy for some sort of... UFC style cage fight octagon right here. Wouldn't that be sweet? And then we'll probably have like a few more cages. One right up here, one right up there, maybe one down there. Possibly five or six if we could fit it of every... That was a weird burp. That was more of a accent of just every crazy hybrid creature, you know? And then they can all just kind of make their way down to this little battle arena. Obviously, this isn't the most roomiest place for this. I don't know. Actually, it's kind of roomy. It's got some space around it. Most of this island, or most of this map is, um, amazing beaches and everything. And I figured if we're gonna be doing, like, hybrid battles, that it should be on some isolated mountain, kind of far away from everything, you know? I feel like that'd be the best way to do it. Through Shizzle, and plus, like, we have Juggernaut32 and 09 Rex, Omega. What's going on, buddy? Oh, damn, Megalania would have been a cool choice, too, but I love Terry Flaps over here. I <laughs> just needed something that could really climb. These beds obviously are just there while we're constructing. We're not going to be sleeping on the roof of this thing. It would kind of take away a whole, like, imagine bringing investors to the island. And then they're all just like, what the hell? Are people living up here? Are you, are you homeless? I actually haven't seen any carnivores up here, which has been quite phenomenally fancy, if I do say so myself. I should have brought more of those. I don't know what I was thinking. Hang on. Wait. There should be half walls around here somewhere. Ooh, poops. Wait, railing? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I think it might just be the railing. It, that just might be what's going on here. I think that is. Oh my god, I was like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Did not know. He is luring that Omega right over to the corner. Look at that beautiful face poking through. It's locked onto his ass now. Look at that. It's gonna get him. It's gonna bite him right now and he doesn't realize it. Oh my god, back up. He might be realizing it now. It like roars before it bites and it was cocking its head back like it was about to strike. That was actually very sketchy right there. I thought for sure that guy was gonna die. <laughs> See, I feel like eventually it'll be much nicer. Yeah, this is just something real quick, just throwing it together because I kind of really want something right outside the Omega cage. Yeah, see, the thing is, we only have the Omega in here right now, the only large hybrid uh, carnivore on this island. I mean, on this little floating island bit. So it doesn't necessarily need to be that huge, but eventually as more hybrids are added to the game. By the way, if anyone who, ha anyone who hasn't played like Jurassic World the game, 
should for shizzle go just like search the creatures up online because you need to see how uh, just like the amazing choices on there then comment the next one you want to see in game what the hell is going on here okay see now i'm getting second thoughts about all this because now i'm realizing even though he's the only carnivore here right now eventually we are gonna have other crazy hybrids in here i mean we should eat we should definitely get a little cage probably just right there right here for the indominus you know what i'm saying since it is like jurassic world's most famous hybrid creature even if i, I guess the cages wouldn't need to be as secure so the food dropper it can't just be a little sheep cage right next to the uh right next to the omega that wouldn't make much sense because eventually we're gonna need to feed we need to come up with some intricate it's gonna have to be some sky farm oh god we're just gonna have to ignore the blinding power of the sun right now but it's gonna have to be some crazy sky farm some sheep farm that just has sky paths that lead to all all different creatures i suppose that's pretty much what has to go go on here <laughs> sounds pretty damn crazy but i'm actually what are you doing i'm so out of it right now first video of the day i'm always so freaking out of it it's always like followed or preceded by see i can't even think of words right now it's usually a super night late light nate i meant late night night late did i just say night late jesus christ johnny what the hell has happened Did you, suffering from another stroke there buddy but um yeah it's i usually try and spend a couple hours every night like building this park up right here and then another couple hours playing pug because i didn't play pug till like freaking two weeks ago i just was so busy i never played it since it came out so i'm like bit of a rookie but it's so freaking fun so i just get on there to hone my skills honestly all i have to do is try and picture it like just think about it like it's um it's it's a battlefield just just think about it like it's like battlefield one but you have to run around and pick up your items and that's when i do good but the thing is i play battlefield one with an xbox controller so it's like it's still it's I mean, I hook an Xbox controller up to my PC because I was born and raised the hardcore freaking... Okay, you see the issue here, right? You see you see the slight issue with this little raise? I swear to God, if you do anything to me. I've actually, these creatures have actually been surprisingly docile around me. It's been pretty cool. The Ostros aren't that aggro. They just kind of hang out all over the place. Okay, well, now I'm seeing the error of my ways. Okay, well, look how... This is how we petite this place is. Yeah, that's, I don't want, see, the thing is I don't want an arena any bigger than that is the thing. Because you don't want the creatures to be able to run around and everything. Urgh, I wonder if this is the flattest ground around. Because flat ground is good ground for building. See, this is primarily what we're working with right now. Is super steep mountains and then a bunch of beaches. That's the majority. And then you, you go over there, you think, oh, that looks like flat ground. And then you go over there and it's not flat ground. That's pretty much how I ended up right here. One of the main details I want to focus on with the battle arena is the thing is observation. I want people to be people to be able to observe the shiz out of every angle of the fight. I want a glass ceiling. Er, actually, hang hang on a poop. Now that I think about it, I want glass underways. I want people to be able to see under the thing. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, this needs more thoughts. I, I had a that's why I build mostly off camera. I knew I couldn't just come in here and slap down some fences and I'd be like, oh, here's the new addition to our park. It's like, no, no, no. You gotta plan this out. You gotta be careful. Like, I, you gotta draw it out first. You gotta scale it. Like, like it's, there's a whole lot of details that goes into building this kind of shit. I don't know what I was thinking. Foolish, Johnny. Foolish, naive, naive boy. You're not ready to be king yet, boy. But yes, because now I'm thinking we need a whole bottom layer. That's basically what we got going on in the Omega Cage over there, where it's a um, a glass layer at the bottom. So you could walk along the bottom and see everything. And then I need at least two glass pathways around it. One like towards the bottom, like the first row. And then another one at the top. And then I'd say it's a glass ceiling. The whole place has to be completely observable. See so here we can see every inch of this bad boy. We know exactly what's going on in there. What's going on, home skillet? Dude, people have some crazy building plans. Oh, look, a shotgun. I will, I will, t I will take that. <laughs> I just want to carry a shotgun on me right now. Again, I've been playing a lot of Pug, and it makes me feel a little more badass. I don't even need shells, man. Sh uh, like, I, I imagine any dinosaur person you aim a shotgun at them, they're not going to test you. They're just going to run away. If someone aimed a shotgun at me, I would just run the other way. Obviously. Look at this, by the way. This, a lot of people were asking how we're going to, like, if you just have electrical wiring running all along the park and all this, like, how is that going to go down? It's like, don't even worry about it, bro. We've mastered, like, nuclear fission. We've basically made our own Iron Man core. Like, you put it down, it starts gathering the power of the sun. 
Eventually it does. I think it did. You are still unpowered. How is that even a thing, actually? I think it's got to be on the inside. Oh my god, are we going to have to put a sun down inside there? Because this thing, this is specifically to power. I think it's because it's like the, it's behind him or something. Because this one's not even powered. Oh my god. It's so bright. It's literally the sun. Look in there. Like, that is crazy. That's me in third person. Oh, god, it's starting to hurt my eyes. It's crazy. Just look at that. This person's freaking out. Why is there a sun? <laughs> Bruh. There we go. Got rid of the sun. Don't even worry about it. Funny story, we could- Okay, obviously this needs to be hooked up a little more differently, but that is specifically the sun is to power all electric fences everywhere without having to have wiring and everything connecting them. See, there's a T-Rex right there. I freaking knew this would be an issue. I knew that, um... What's going on, buddy? This is what we need primarily. It's all about the goats. It's all about the goats, man. The goats are specifically in these mods for feeding dinosaurs. That's, um... That's their sole purpose here. I assume it's berries, right? What do you eat, sir? Fiber? It's gotta be fiber. Scab, got, can you even, you can't hot bar fiber. Don't goats eat like anything? Can they give this guy a shoe? Wouldn't he be completely content with a shoe? What about some steak? Oh, malarkey, sir. I feel you would be completely content with a shoe. Where's that footstep coming from? It's the Omega walking around, isn't it? What's going on, dreadlocks? Dude, we, we have we have some good some good peeps on here. I know it's not raw meat. This isn't a freaking monster goat. Dude, what the hell, sir? What do you tame it with? Any what oh god, anyone know what to tame it with? Cause this would be perfect. I mean the Ovis are pretty good, but this is specifically this is in the mod for feeding Jurassic Park creatures. Jurassic Park made goats famous. No one even knew what goats were until it until a T-Rex ate it. What do you eat? It can't be fish. That would just be stupid. That wouldn't even make any sense. How the hell would a goat even acquire fish? Maybe he eats knuckle sandwiches. Perhaps he wants a Hertz donut. Hertz donut. <laughs> oh no, Dreadlocks was trying to tame it. What? There we go. <laughs> She's tricked the bad boy. Why am I over encumbered right now? I'm all over the place. Get it, get it, dreadlocks. You've got it. But we can't tame it until it wakes up because it's a passive tame. Well, now we have time to crack the code. He's just a sleeping goat with beautiful blue eyes. Look how cool the Omega looks in there. So freaking cool. I want to feed him a goat though, it would be so much more official. Yes, gentlemen, let's inspect the goats. Yup, these are goat genitals if I've ever seen it. Look at, look at this disgust, look like I'm about to pick the goat up or do something. No, this is like how you would pick a goat up if you're gonna put it over your shoulders and carry it back to the village for feasting. Well, while we work on cracking this code right here. Oh my God, see this is the issue is these dinosaur nests spawning up. Where is it? It's literally went right under him. That's crazy. You just made your own damn nest, bro. That's trippy. So what do we got here, huh? Did you just lay your own nest? Does that happen? Do creatures now, if you just let them chill, they make their own nest right there? That's no, because this one's level 1,565. And these eggs are from the parents of the other son. Jesus. That was petrifying, Terry Flaps. Hold my foldy holds. Hang on. <laughs> so these are just eggs. No one's gonna eat these then? Like, I can just eat these. These are for everybody then is what's going on here. Dude, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna gather all these eggs up right now. I'm gonna have me a whole flock of birds. Put them all in there, buddy. Keep them warm and comfy, would ya? That is so cool. See, that's, that's like one of my favorite mods in here. It's, it's by far the most realistic. I feel like everyone should have this mod everywhere they go. Yeah, just clean that sucker out. I know kids for you, Perantes. But, um, you know what I mean? I feel like this is, it's, it's just the most realistic way to acquire creatures, I feel like. Dude, this is the best place to be to do Jurassic Park stuff. I see Jurassic Park trike, Jurassic Park stego. Is that a Jurassic Park stego? I think that's an additional creature stego, but that's a Jurassic Park trike. I can tell by its differences in horns. Whatever the hell those things are called. Around the dome? 
Oh, veggie cakes. That's how you tame a goat. Of course. Foolish me. Everyone knows. Everyone knows goats go searching in the wild for veggie cakes. Johnny, come on. Haven't you ever seen a goat in, in its natural environments eating veggie cakes? It's like you don't even know what you're doing with your life anymore, bud. Shizen! No! 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 Someone protect me! I don't have anything on me and I'm over covered. What are you just standing there for? <laughs> oh god. That's what I get for focusing so much on building right there and not so much self-defense. That's why you guys are amazing. You keep me alive. <laughs> Target down. That's what I'm talking about. Did we kill the goat? Did the goat die? Is it over there? Oh, we tamed it. Oh god, I'm gonna land on the goat. I walked right past that goat. Noise. Bring the goat upstairs and put it on the trap door and I'll get the sheep and we'll do a load drop. <laughs> He's already got it up there by the time I'm done typing it. Oh, he forgot the, uh, oh, I'm not a goat. <laughs> that was like the loudest thing in my life right there. I guess we'll leave. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We want to leave one goat. Am I, am I, are, am I uh, not, if I am not overcumbered enough? Hell yeah, perfect. We want to leave you two. Well, we can always get more. It doesn't really matter. Yes, male and female. We can continue the arc. Oh, literally arc. That's funny. I just meant like Noah's Ark. Like some weird biblical thing. But we're literally playing arc right now. That's, that's weird. That's <laughs> All right, come on, ladies, get in here. Come on, you can do it. There's nothing horrifying awaiting you over here, I assure you. Wait, wait, not yet. You, you're gunning it, dreadlocks. We need the goat in here, buddy. Where's the goat? Where's the goat? There we go. Oh, perfect. Yes. This is what I like to see right here. All right, everybody. Outside. Take a platform. God, this game is so freaking loud right now. All right, let's get a look at the Omega. Where is she? Or he? Genderless. 21st century. I wish the lighting wasn't so poopy right now. I have bloom quality and everything activated. It's just, it's just life right now. I also wish I wasn't dying. But that's, there's nothing you can do about it. All right. One, one, one. Two. Oh my god! What's going on down there, sheepy poos? He's noticed you. He's turning around. Oh god! What's happening down there? <laughs> what? What the hell, Omega? <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? To attack him! <laughs> All right, sheep. Yeah. Oh god, it's so insanely loud. Easy. 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 It's like he froze up for a bit. The Omega is brand spanking new. Weird! I don't think it has them completely registered as down there yet. What's going on down there? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That's why we have beds. That's why we have beds. I want to go down there and explore what's going on in the shizzy, you know? Curiosity is peaked. What's going on, Terry Flaps? Oh, one shot anyways. I don't have much to live for regardless. You know, this is like the life I'm living right now. Don't shoot what are you shooting at him for? Is there anything else? Anything else of dire importance? The Ovis are pretty much maintaining peace in there. What are you shooting at him for? I think he's trying to make you go aggro. Dude, what the hell? Okay, obviously there's still some bugs and tweaks to be worked out. The creature is brand, it's not even like 100% added in yet, I don't think. So I maybe should have waited a day or two. The point is we have an awesome feeding mechanism. What's going on in here? Was gotta make sure to close it behind you. What's going on? 
Going back. Look at this freaky lineup right here. Just this head looking down at them. Please close it behind you. He seems to... Hang on. I don't think he could target people yet. That would make this super easy. I don't think the cage gives it full walking access. I wonder if that's what's going on here. I mean, it tried... It almost killed him earlier when he was on the Megalania. What was that horrifying noise right there? What if I punch it? Oh, see? Yeah, it got me really quick. So there's something going on down there. Yeah, I think the Omega just needs a few more tweaks at the moment. Either way, you can't deny the epicness. Although now I hear slaughter. What's happening down there? What the hell is happening down there? They're attacking him. Get him, sheep. Yeah, he just has some weird issue with him right now where he just can't seem to target a lot of things. That seems to be what's going on. I think that's the main concern here. Yeah, I, I give it about an update or two and then it'll be chilling. Oh, by the way, I was talking to Godzilla and the Jurassic Park 3 gas that's supposed to scare away dinosaurs but only scared away compies in our last video. Um, now we'll be able to target raptors. It'll be able to scare away raptors and everything. It'll be just like... It'll be just like in the... Uh, they seem to be dying. <laughs> the sheep seem to be dying. It'll be just like in the, uh, in the movie. God, I'm so out of it right now. Look at these sheep just mad dogging him. Well, unfortunately, it'll take them at least like four centuries to kill him. So I don't see it being a thing. Dude's got a gajillion health. But yeah, that's super cool. The Jurassic Park 3 gas now will now um, target raptors too. Like it'll scare them away. So it's just way more legit. So I'm sure this guy will get his little tweak. And then you guys already know all my plans for the arena over there. So make sure to comment any ideas you have as well. I'm super excited to hear them. So yeah, clearly we have a little work to do on this right now before it's complete. But then it will be fantastic and awesome. And that's really all that matters, right? Is that everything's fantastic and awesome. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace! It's time to get in here.